have this HR28 here with some faults on it um, let's have a look what is it doing or what is it not doing let's turn it on okay it shows as uh, the e-stop is pushed in in the cage so let's get that released okay so e-stop has been released in the cage all right so you've got one error code and the error code is there is error code 01 ce double zero double zero Alright, so there's more error codes, here we go. So, I think the fault is gonna be with the, related to the canvas. Because we got 01C5, 01C4. So, I think it's going to be a problem with the can reception. So, let's try to see if all the ground fuses are good. So the first of all, I'm gonna have a look on this uh, fuse right here. So this is a ground fuse between the chassis and a B minus on the motor controller. So I got a B minus here, and this wire goes up to the chassis bolt right here. So it's connecting two grounds together, and I see that fuse is gone. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but the fuse is gone. That's for sure. So I think um, what's happening is that fuse is gone for some reason and now it's generating a lot of error frames in the can system. And um, that's possibly why it's dropping out after a while. So Alright, so I got my new fuse in here. Let's put that in and see what the machine is going to do. Turn it on. Power is on. So motor controller came on. Fine. No error codes at the moment. Okay, and the machine is functioning. To the cage controls, no error codes. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do with this, I will go for the wiring and just to check all the grounds and everything, just to make sure there's no problem with that. And then um, we'll test the machine, see how it goes. Um, if I can get this to fail again. I will continue with the fault finding, if not then we can say it's fixed, but I'm um, just wondering why that fuse is gone. But I've noticed this, it, has, it has been some work done around this area, this here, so I'm not sure, because this is doesn't look like it's original setup for me, and I can see there some marks of sparking I'm not sure what is in here so I need to find out why it's been done in such a way so maybe someone tried to fix something here and uh, blew the stun on fuse not too sure but there is definitely something strange here it shouldn't be that way Okay, so let me test the machine a bit more and uh, we go from there. So I have replaced the, the fuse right here and this fuse here and the machine has worked on electric power, no problems. And as soon as I tried to start a diesel engine, 
it blow the fuses both of them again so it blew this fuse off and this one as well so when this go on you can see all this like black mark here around so it's gone quite badly and uh, that one gone as well so it's interesting what happened here because it must be very high current or the short circuit into 472 line So let's try to see what's happening and we go from there. So look at the wiring here, everything seems to be okay. Um, there's no obvious, obvious problems. And um, I think maybe it's actually the problem with this voltage converter here. Because that's the fuse that it keeps blowing is actually feeding this voltage converter. And uh, not sure why but it's it does happening so i mean we do have a good voltage output i have 12.7 volts on 12 vdf wire right here and that is my diesel feed wire that comes from the 12 volt batteries and we have this 12 vsd which is the voltage from this converter here and i have 14 volts on that so what i will try to do i'll try to have this disconnected and I'm gonna try to see if I can start the engine or if I can crank the engine and if that's not gonna kill the fuse again so let's try to see Okay, that's no problems at all. So I think it's very likely the problem is here because right now I disconnect that and I have no problems to start it up. Start it straight away. So I think I will try to see if I have a new one to test and then we go from there possibly. Got a new converter fitted on. So I had one in stock and um, this is the old one. All the wiring seems to be okay, no problems with that. So I have connected back on, or not connected yet, but I'm going to connect this back on right now. Okay. So let's see if it's gonna start or it's gonna go blow the fuses again. So one, two, three, go. <coughs> okay. All right, that seems to be good. Alright, so I think the problem is there. I think the problem is this converter is blowing the supply fuse and shorting it to ground. So, possibly that's happening under the load. When we go into engine crank, the load increases, and then um, that's where the problem is happening. So, let's see. I will test the machine a bit more, but uh, it looks like it's going to be a fix here. 